Welcome to the PIX platform. This is the first integrated platform that enables you to source training data for machine learning, computer vision, and artificial intelligence. Some platforms today already use crowdsourcing to add metadata to existing images. But this is the first platform that integrates all steps, from sourcing the images to enhancing them with metadata and ensuring transparent, fair, and traceable trading of this data. Blockchain technology enables direct transactions and micropayments between data providers and contributors without ever having a central authority in control of the data. In this short tutorial, you'll learn how to use this platform, both as a data requester and as a data contributor. The PIX token is the foundation of the PIX platform. It represents the value of the traded data. PIX is based on Ethereum, so in order to interact with it, you need to authenticate to the Ethereum network. We do this by using MetaMask, which you need to have installed. If you're not familiar with MetaMask, I suggest you Google it. We have it installed here, so we're going to log in to MetaMask. I'm going to select, out of my two MetaMask accounts, the account with the PIX tokens. Here we go. This account also has some ETH, which I will need to pay for gas. I have to accept the terms and conditions and log in. MetaMask is now asking me to sign the message to prove that I have access to the account, which I do. I'm now inside the platform. As you can see, I have 1,010,000 picks in my wallet. Not all picks I have can be used by the PIX platform. I have to approve the maximum amount of picks to be used, so I'll make 100,000 picks available for the platform. For this, I'll have to do a blockchain transaction, and this will take a little bit of time and cost a little bit of ETH. As you can see here in Etherscan, the message has been generated, and now I have to wait for it to be mined in order for the picks to be available here. You'll see this in a few minutes. In the platform, data is organized by data sets. This platform has two sections, Get Data and Contribute Data. In Get Data, you'll be able to see the data that's already available to you. As you can see, there are no data sets here yet. The platform is new. In Contribute Data, you can either use Create New Data Set, which will enable you to create a new data request, or with Add Samples, you can contribute pictures into somebody else's data set. It's empty at this time. You'll be able to see here My Contributions, which is the data you uploaded into somebody's data set. With the same account, you can do all three. You can create a new dataset requests and put up a PIX tokens bounty for it. You can contribute with add samples to somebody else's dataset request, and you can get paid PIX tokens for it. Or you can pay in PIX to get data from somebody else's dataset. Vote will be developed later. It will allow you to vote on the quality of data and earn PIX tokens for it. Right now, let's create a new dataset. I'll now show you how to create a new dataset. As you can see, we've previously approved up to 100,000 PIX tokens to pay for this dataset. We're going to create a dataset for hands. This dataset request is valid until May 31st so we'll give until May 31st for people to contribute data. We want keyword hands or a single hand. The minimum quality we want is 80%, and we want the minimum picture size to be 250 by 250 pixels. We want them to be in color, and we want to see here pictures of hands, palm down only. How much are we going to pay? Right now, a PIX token is half a cent, and we think probably a good price for pictures is maybe 10 cents.
We're going to pay 20 PIX tokens per picture. And the format here should be x.x, which means a class and its subclass. Here are the classes we're interested in. One is index.finger. Another one is index.joint. Another one is thumb.finger. And the fourth one is thumb.joint. This data is needed for this data set. This is actual data that we need for the development of gesture recognition in our Lampix platform. If you need help, feel free to contact us at support at lampix.co and we'll help you with generating this data. This is the dataset size we need. For the detection image ratio, we want the classified items to occupy at least 10% of the actual size of the picture. Here you can provide more information. On this dataset, we want to clearly see a hand in the picture from the top only. There we go. Now we'll publish the dataset request. Please make sure that, for now, datasets have at most 1,000 samples. This is the maximum size authorized at this time as it's a new platform. If you click on Save and upload a sample, it will ask you for an RSA key. For example, I used this website to generate public and private key sets. I'm going to use the public key, and I want to save the private key private in order to control the ownership of the set. You can see now I need to go to MetaMask and the dataset is created. Now let's show you how to add samples to datasets. You click on Add Samples. There are no datasets listed yet because the transaction hasn't been mined on the blockchain yet. A few minutes later, you can just click on the button Search, and you'll see all the datasets that need samples. So we'll select the one that we created earlier. Here, I'm going to generate a key in order to protect the ownership of your images. Your images are controlled by this private key that only you possess until someone buys your data off you. I call this key Test. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Now I need to upload the test key I just generated to identify these pictures as mine, and I go to the dataset. So now let's select files to upload. So I'm going to drag the files here. I open my desktop again, and I see a few photos of hands. Let's upload this one. Then I need to do the detection. I need to choose the categories and highlight the detection areas. The index finger is here. Then the index joint. Then the thumb finger. and then the thumb joint. There we go. Here's a picture with the classes all filled in. I can finish uploading now. That's it. We've shown you the entire process. Please send bug reports and comments to support at lampix.co.